Hello my dear family members, today we will discuss some important cloud and network security based questions which were asked in Accenture latest drive and I have been observing these type of questions are being asked and being repeated okay so let's get started but before we proceed i would again recommend to have the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the recent coding questions with answers all aptitude reasoning ms office cloud and network based questions as well okay so to get that knockmat paste id instagram.com slash techno.tf will get it and be mindful this is paid okay so let's get started so the first question is this regarding cloud model based question so the first question is easy question so question is what is the primary advantage of cloud computing improved data security on demand resource availability enhanced processing power or lower latency so what could be the correct answer in this case please pause the video and try to keep the answer in the comment section before i give answer okay so let's uh, discuss the answer so actually if you would have been given the option like all the above and most of the time in case of advantage of cloud computing the all the above options may be correct okay but in this case the answer is singular that means each that's why the most appropriate answer will be on demand resource availability okay so the next question is this so which cloud service model provides the highest level of control over hardware and software okay so the options are software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service or function as a service so what could be the correct answer so i hope you understood the answer is in the question what that is the question is regarding infrastructure okay so hardware and software so the correct answer will be infrastructure as a service okay because iaas offers virtualized computing resources over the internet and it gives the user highest level of control over the infrastructure okay so it can be hardware or software okay so let's go to the next question there is a difficult level of question so the question is in a multi-cloud strategy what is the one major challenge organizations face redundancy vendor lock-in data data sovereignty or complexity in management so i hope you will pause and try to research about this question and give the answer okay so the correct answer will be in this case option d complexity in management okay you know while multi-cloud strategies offer flexibility and risk mitigation they also provides they also introduce complexity in terms of management integration and maintaining consistent security okay so i hope you understood okay let's go to the ip network based question so the first question is what does the acronym ip stand for so what is the ip internet protocol internet program information process internet process so i will not give the answer this is a very basic question so this is a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to answer okay so i am very much excited to see how much of you are uh, being uh, watching the video very attentively okay so the next question is this which class of ip address is used for multi-class multicast class a class b class c or class d so i hope you have been watching the previous videos of this playlist i mean cloud and network based questions so if you have already watched then you can answer the question very easily and please watch if you have not watched because this type of questions are being asked repeatedly so if you have watched then this will be easier for you to answer the question okay so in this case what would be the correct answer so class d will be the correct answer because class d ranges from 224 to 239 okay so 20, 224 to 239 okay sorry 224 to 239 okay so i hope you understood so in this uh, range the class d uh resides and the class d of the reserved the multicast groups okay so i hope you understood okay so let's go to the next question but before you proceed i would again recommend you to have the prime materials of accenture okay so i hope you will damn me at my start okay let's go to the next question the question is question what is the primary purpose of the subnet mask in an ip network so to define the network's default gateway to determine the network and host portions of an ip address to assign ip addresses to device to convert ip addresses to mac addresses so what could be the correct answer so the correct answer will be option b to determine the network and host portions of an ip address 
because the subnet mask divides the IP address into two parts that is one is network and other is host person. So this allows devices to determine whether another IP address is within the same local network or if it must communicate via a router. So they defines this. Okay. So that's why the option B will be correct answer. Okay. The next question is this. So regarding cloud model based. Okay. So which of the following is a popular cloud service provider? Microsoft Office, Google Cloud Platform, Adobe Photoshop and Mozilla Firefox. So this question was asked repeatedly. I am again telling this question was asked repeatedly. This seems to be very easy, but these are asked. Okay. So the correct answer will be Google Cloud Platform. Okay. So this is the correct answer. Okay. So the next question is this. What is the purpose of a cloud service level agreement SLA? So to define the pricing model of cloud service to outline this security measures of cloud service or to specify the expected level of service between the provider and the customer or to list the services provided by the cloud provider. So the correct answer will be option C. Okay, so without any delay, let me just take it. So why? Because an SLA service level agreement is a contract that defines the expected level of service performance availability between cloud service provider and the customer okay so let's go to the next question so the question is this so in the context of cloud security what does the term shared responsibility model refer to so these are the options please pause the video and try to solve the problem and this is a quiz question for you please pause and give okay otherwise this will not be helpful for you okay please research a little so that you can get with more question okay so the last question of this session regarding IP network based. Okay. So the question is which protocol is used to dynamically assign IP addresses to device on a network. So DNS, DHCP, FTP or HTTP. So what would be the probable correct answer according to you? So let me just uh, take the correct answer. The correct answer will be option B DHCP. Okay. Because dynamic host configuration protocol DHCP, it is used to dynamically assign IP addresses to devices on a network. Okay. So that's why the correct answer will be DHCP. So I hope this video added value to your preparation. So if you found this video helpful, then please subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want. And if you want the prime materials of any company or Accenture, then please let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at Mr. ID Instagram.com slash techno.tf. And if you want to discuss more about any company or if you want to get the uh, updates regarding any corporate or if you want to get update about hiring, then please join our telegram channel t.me slash Okay, so thank you for today's session.